briefcase, briefs, and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. The Johnson v. Washington case dealt with a 2009 lawsuit in which the Johnsons sold their home to the defendants. They later sued the defendants, claiming fraud, breach of contract, Truth in Lending Act violations, and predatory lending practices after failing to make payments that would have allowed them to repurchase the home within 13 months. However, their claims held no merit as there was no pre-existing debt between the parties. The court ruled that the transaction was an absolute sale, without any creation of debt or an equitable mortgage. The Johnson's claims under the Truth in Lending Act and the Virginia Mortgage Lender and Broker Act were dismissed, as these statutes only applied to loans, not sales. Their fraud claim was also rejected as they failed to read the relevant documents outlining the correct terms of the transaction. As a result, the defendants were able to successfully defend themselves against the Johnson's allegations, and the court upheld the lower court's decision. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.